Good morning, Team McCullough. Today is Thursday, June 15th, 2023, and we will now begin our day together with morning announcements. Please stand quietly and respectfully for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We will now have a moment of silence to think about what we are going to do to make the McAuliffe School a safe and happy place for all students and staff. We have no McAuliffe School birthdays today, but I do want to continue on with our summer birthdays. We're on August the 8th, and Talia in room 12 celebrates her birthday. Skipping to the 10th, we have Corey in room 114, and then also on the 10th, William in room 6. On the 11th of August, we have Jaslyn in room 4, Isaac in room 115, and Rylan in room 116, all celebrating their birthdays. On the 13th of August, we have Aliana in room 3, Julian in room 3, and on the 14th, we have Josiah in room 203 and Jada Lise in room uh, 005, all celebrating their birthdays this summer. Hope that you guys have great birthdays looking at our National Days calendar. Today is Nature Photography Day. That's right. Getting out there and celebrating the power and beauty of nature by taking pictures of it. Maybe after school today, you can go for a walk if it's not raining by then and take, a, um, take some pictures with your parents um, of the beautiful nature that is around us. I thought, what better way to, than to, to celebrate work, or Nature Photography Day than by listening to some relaxing music on this thoughtful Thursday and looking at some beautiful nature pictures. Close your eyes, imagine nature, check out the pictures on the screen, but here's a minute of mindfulness where we're just going to breathe and think about the beauty of nature. Okay, so there you have it. We got Nature Photography Day and Thoughtful Thursday done both at the same time and celebrating them in the same way. So I finally got caught up on Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. The squirrels were crazy. Um, that was kind of neat. The elevator though, that was even crazier. All over the place like a roller coaster ride in those rooms that they were passing. I don't know, but I want to swim in the swimming pool of bubbly lemonade. I think that's the room I would have chosen. What room would you have chosen if you were in the elevator? And now we have to find out what's going on in the TV room. How cool is that? The chocolate went from one part into the TV and Charlie was able to grab it. The sign in the lobby makes us think that something else is going to happen in that chocolate television room. We're gonna have to read on to find out what exactly that is. Teachers, just a reminder that we have our pre-K show today. Pre-K students, I can't wait to see your show. 
Um, we do, that does mean that we do have to have lunches in the classrooms again. Today, however, students will be able to come down to the cafeteria to get their lunches. So um, we'll have the students come down, get their lunches, and bring those back up to the cafeteria instead of delivering them like we had to yesterday. Fourth graders, you have your field trip today. Um, when I'm recording this, the weather looks like it's going to be nice for your field trip. I hope that you have a great time. Please remember your star behavior while you're at the splash pad and while you're at the while you're on the bus. Also, please remember to invite your parents to your moving on ceremony tomorrow. We have uh, Miss McHugh, Miss Wade, and Miss Siegel's classes going at 9:45, and then Mr. Bowden and Miss uh, Frias's classes going at 10:45 tomorrow morning. That'll be outside on the patio. I think that's all of our announcements for today. Remember, McCullough students are stars. That means we strive to do our best. We take responsibility. We're always positive and kind, and we respect ourselves and others. If everybody remembers to be a star today, then we'll have a thrilling Thursday. Have a great day, McCullough School.